Hi everyone, I thought I would do a switch into the handbags video. So um, we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna rotate the camera down a little bit more. Let's see, there we go. Um, sorry, I had to get some water. Thirsty. Okay, um, I've been carrying this fossil bag. Um, I think this is called a Sydney satchel. And um, I just really like this one. This has been in my collection a long time. This is a glimpse on the inside. So um, I'm gonna load up my um, Bella Taylor hobo. And let's see, I'm gonna probably make it just real easy here and that I have my purse insert. Um, I used to have a video on this on my channel, but I think I marked it as private now, but it's called Divide and Conquer. That is the brand. And I believe I bought this on Etsy, etsy.com, Divide and Conquer. So this may be um, on other websites now, I'm not sure. But anyway, I thought I would just use it still. Um, I just have it loaded with my salt and pepper. I have my vitamin D3. I try to take this at lunch, um, you know, when I remember it. So I've been carrying it with me actually. And then here is a little pill container. I got this on Amazon. And this is cute, but you have to remember which is up and down. So what you do is you flip this up and then here are your little pills. So I just have Benadryl, Advil, and Aleve, and that's a vitamin. But these are cute. They seal pretty good. And see that white part is a seal, so it, um, it doesn't leak, which I don't know what you carry in there that would be a liquid. But anyway, um, so I have that and then reading glasses for my hubby and the same stuff stevia he likes this in his coffee and in his tea and then i have a rare bradley wallet and a little um wristlet and i got this on when they had the outlet sale online and um car key i have my other keys in a pocket <clears throat> excuse me separate so if I just want to grab this and go in grocery store or something, that's what I do. And then sometimes I have a long lanyard that I attach to the wallet. And um, I always like to switch up my wallets. So, um, and then here's some tissue. Just poke down there. So anyway, so um, this is the Bella Taylor. And I'm not sure how the lighting is in here right now. I have another video um, about this Bella Taylor hobo so i'm gonna see if i could get this in here with um with the things inside it sometimes i have to take things out to be able to get it in but it looks like it is going to fit perfectly wow yay so that's gonna make it real easy switching to the handbags isn't it and um so now on here, I just have a um, microfiber cloth, and I also got this on Amazon. Um, so I'm a little Amazon shopper these days. So I got this and that little pill case on Amazon. And I just, um, just gonna just put this in like on the outside of the organizer. And I use that, you know, to wipe my glasses. Oh, another Kleenex container let me see um what else oh my inhaler so on um, the Bella um Taylor bag the Blakely this is the Blakely style it has two open slip pockets and I'm gonna just slip this inside one of them and hmm actually I might put it just in the insert section you can see I just put my inhaler right there I don't use it very often but just in case I need it um, and then 
These are my other keys. I'm gonna put them in a zip pocket right here. I don't really use these that much. These are just like um, backup keys, you know, the house and things, so. And then hand sanitizer. So I think I'm gonna put my hand sanitizer on one of the outside pockets. Um, probably that one. And then we'll see if it makes um, a mark or anything. I don't think it does. I think it'll be just fine there. And let's see. <clears throat> oh, this was a gift card container. I just need to recycle that. It just, the, what it came in. I have a straw. So um, I just gonna put that in there. And then let's see if there's anything else. My mask, I'll put that in the zip pocket too just in case I need a mask for any place. Normally here we don't really, not a lot of people use it, except if you're going to a doctor's office or something like that, they want you to wear a mask. <clears throat> so, okay, this is empty now. And then I have, I just keep the, the crossbody or shoulder strap here. And then, um, yeah, I'm not gonna zip that, I'm just gonna leave that open. And so, what I usually do after I get out of a bag, I usually just leave it unzipped, especially if it's a leather bag, and just let it air out a little bit before I um, put it in a dust cover or anything like that. I just want it to air out and in case there's any moisture or anything. Um, let's see. Oh, I had another gift card. This one actually has a has some left, so I had bought two from Texas Roadhouse. So I'm gonna store that, keep that one. And then, there we go. So um, I'm not, I probably will continue to use this insert with it. It's just real convenient and it's very lightweight. Um, actually, I don't know if I want my hand sanitizer on the outside. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on these, the outside pocket yet. Um, I kind of want it to stay really pretty and smooth. So maybe receipts, maybe I put my tissue. That's probably what I'll do. I'm gonna put my tissue on one of these. So I'm always, it's allergy season here. Cedar fever in te North Texas. So, um, let's see, put them where you can't see it. There, yeah, and it's still smooth. And then, um, hmm, I'm not sure what else I'll, so that leaves this one open. Maybe, um, I'll, sometimes I'll put my phone in there on the outside. I have a mini, um, iPhone 13 mini, so it would just probably fit right in there. And yeah, so this is the first time I've I switched into this one. So this was in my Christmas bag and so there's a zipper, really nice. It has kind of a curve to it. And this is definitely like a cute little hobo bag. So there we go. And um, this is a, a navy, like a dark navy color. And um, this is their microfiber and they have it in black. And then they have cute little cotton versions. Um, in like um, check patterns and kind of a country vibe on their other um, patterns. So, um, oh, I'm excited to try this. Yay! Really nice little purse. And the back is just smooth. There's no pockets on the back and there's no pockets on the side, which um, Bear Bradley, they have um, a shape kind of like this a little bit. It's called on the go crossbody, but it doesn't have quite the curve here. It's more straight and they do have side pockets on the side. And I think it has, um, I see, what is it? I'm not sure if it has pockets on the front. I can't remember now, but I know it has one zip pocket in the back, but, um, but this is Bella Taylor. So I don't think they have anything to do with Bear Bradley. 
but they do give off the same um, vibes as Rear Bradley. And actually, this one is just, the quality of this is just superb. I mean, just great. And no, I'm not making any money off this or anything going on about their bags or anything. So I'm um, not getting, I'm not a sponsor or whatever. They're not my sponsor for this video. It's just, it's just, I'm excited about discovering a new brand of handbag. So, um, yeah. So now I'm in my new bag and I'll probably stay in this a, a few weeks. And, um, I just like to switch my bags a lot. I've been shopping my closet a lot lately, but I am getting, um, in the future, um, a Vera Bradley backpack purse. So that is in the mail. And so when I get that, I'll be tempted to want to change in it pretty soon, but we'll see. Um, usually I stay in a bag about two weeks and then I'll switch. And, um, and a lot of times I'll just go and get something out of my closet that I haven't carried in a while and um, get a lot of use out of my bag. So, and it helps, you know, um, knowing your inventory and um, it helps me really not have them in the dust bags as much, but I do have them in storage containers that have a clear window so I can kind of see what's in those storage containers in my closet and know which bags I have so to switch into. And then um, I don't have as many now, so I kind of remember too. I don't forget like I used to. I used to have a lot of leather bags, but I don't carry a whole lot of leather. This is actually um, the first time I've been in leather in a while. I carried um, another fossil satchel for about a week or so before this one. And I like my fossil bags, I just really do. That The leather and the zippers are really good. So I um, like them. And I don't have as many of my doonies. Um, maybe I broke a record, I may have told y'all this before. Um, I just, they just all got so heavy. So, um, but I know they have nylon bags and lightweight fabrications. And I do have a few coated cotton still and a few, my little nylon doonies, I did keep those. But um, I like the cloth bags lately. Vera Bradley, Kipling, um, this one, the uh, Bella Taylor, and then I like Lug. But Lug, they're very great bags, but sometimes they can get a little heavy, um, depending, I guess, on what you put in them. But sometimes I, can, I load them up too much. I guess my Lugs can get kind of heavy. They're a nylon. A very, very nice nylon with lots of different organization features. So I have, I think right now I have two lug bags. And um, and I'm keeping them, I'm not getting rid of those. They're still, they're gonna stay in my collection. They're really cute. So I still keep my eye out on lug, but lately I like the, just the cotton bags more. Because um, if it just gets too heavy, I just don't like to carry it. So, um, it's kind of late tonight. We just got back from eating Italian food. I had, um, lasagna and lately <clears throat> when I get full, I just stop eating and I'll just take the rest to go. And then I'll usually eat it the next day for lunch or the day after for lunch. So I try to eat it within like two days or so. And, um, so yeah, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've colored my hair. Uh, you know, on my channel, I have a lot of hair color videos, or result videos, not showing me color my hair, but the results. And um, I just haven't colored it. I think it's been about five months. And so a lot of this is my natural color, uh, a lot of gray, <laughs> as you can tell. And then what is growing off is Garnier Natrice um, Level 8. And I can't remember, I think that was maybe a um, natural medium blonde, something like that. So that is what's kind of growing out. And then I use, I have been using purple shampoo and um, I kind of have it layered a little bit right here. You can kind of, it's a little layered. And then I have it layered like this. And um, so yeah, that's my hair right now. I haven't made, well, I haven't made any hair coloring videos result videos because I haven't colored my hair lately. <laughs> but every once in a while I think about, well, 
if I color it, what shade would I do? And I'm just not sure. <clears throat> they're all very pretty, excuse me, but they, they, they're, they either turn red, orange, um, just brassy, brassy orange or yellow, real yellow. And you can see, um, I guess it's kind of yellowy orange. So I don't know. Um, tone wise, I know that the warmer shades kind of warm up my complexion, but I don't know. I think I'm just still not, I'm not in the mood to color it right now. So I may just wait a few more months and decide if I want to or not. I know there's a lot of growing out your hair gray videos. I thought about doing that, but um, really, you can't really, for me, like, I mean, it's been five months and there's not really much, there's not a, a really a lot of difference. I, can, I don't know if my hair is growing slowly or what, but there's not really a line marking too much where where it was, you can see the ends have a little bit more color, but sometimes in my roots back here have more um, warmth to them. So yeah, well, sorry, all this, it always happens. I do a handbag video, switch it into the bags, and then I start coloring about my hair, or thinking, I mean, talking about my hair color, because I'm looking in the camera and I'm seeing my hair. It's so funny. <laughs> so then I start talking about my hair. So I don't know. <clears throat> What else to talk about? I'm so boring. Um, I painted my nails. I have my nails very short and I'm trying to stop picking at them so much. When they get dry, I kind of, well, I'm, I'm just, I mess with the cuticles too much. And then I keep them short so, cause they're very, very brittle and they peel. So um, I've been trying to keep them painted uh, and lately I've been painting them once a week and then just keeping them short and then I need to get some um, I need to use lotion more often or that um, cuticle lotion cuticle cream I used to have some I think it was Sally Hansen brand so I need to start doing that again put it on the cuticles but um, so I painted it um, a Sally Hansen shade it's kind of like a sparkly purple and and then I'm always like I you know have my hands in water it seems like in the kitchen and the dishes that's why I guess they kind of stay dry but um we have a dishwasher but I still kind of wash a few things by hand so I think what I had tonight that lasagna I think it had a little bit too much salt in it. It didn't taste salty, but I think that kind of food has hidden salt. So, um, excuse me, that's why I have to drink some water here. <clears throat> so, what else is going on? Not much. Not much. I've, um, we finished watching Better Call Saul, and it, I thought, well, I won't spoil the ending, but it ended a little different than I thought it was going to end. But that was a good series. Very good actors in that series. And then we started watching uh, Time Traveler's Wife. I had that recorded for, oh gosh, probably a year now. <clears throat> so we started watching that. We watched one episode. That's kind of goofy, but it was, it's fun goofy. And the girl that's in it, she played in Game of Thrones. She was the one with the redhead said, you know nothing, Jon Snow. And she's the one that um, married him in real life. She's a good actress, so it's cute. So we're watching that. And then the next one that we have, um, we have a bunch of the Walking Dead, like 20 episodes, kind of towards the final seasons. But we just really kind of stopped enjoying the Walking Dead. But since we've watched it for so long, and I already have the episodes recorded, We'll probably try to start working through those. And um, what else? We, oh, excuse me. The, um, but the the man who played Better Call Saul, his name is Bob something. But he's going to be in another series in the AMC. And it starts March the 19th. And it's called Lucky Hank. 
So, but I think it's totally different from the Breaking Bad series information. I think it's, he's going to be working in a, either a high school or college and um, he's going through a midlife crisis. But the, t the trailer they have on AMC to look at is very short. So I'm really not sure if it's going to be a drama or comedy or dark comedy or what. <clears throat> but, um, but that's coming out in March on AMC. And then I'll record that. And well, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you watching my video. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.